Yes, okay, sir. so uh, the situation has been resolved. Our uh, SWAT team uh, went through the process of trying to negotiate the suspect out of the house. That failed. We were never able to make contact uh, with, with the suspect. They eventually launched tear gas into the house. Uh, there was no response from that, so it brought upon a slow search by the SWAT team. They did eventually find the suspect inside, deceased from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. So the situation has been resolved. It appears to, to stem from some type of a domestic dispute. We believe that the suspect is related to someone, that, one of the victims who had been inside the home. And uh, our investigators are here trying to figure out what precipitated all this. But uh, the upside is that none of the victims were harmed. This obviously could have ended a lot worse with uh, injury or, or death to the victims. Uh, it appears the suspect then has, has uh, taken his own life. So that, that's where we are. Uh, I'll take any questions. Any more information about who this person is, the suspect? Uh, I do have his name, but at this point I'm not going to release it until uh, we're, we're satisfied that uh, he, he has been possibly identified. So we're going to wait for the medical examiner to, to make that identification and we'll probably put that out either later or probably tomorrow. What was People the makeup of the folks that were inside? Adults, children, family members, kind of? Uh, I, I don't have that exact makeup. I believe mostly adults, but I'm not, uh, I'm not sure if there are any children involved. I don't do believe you, so. Do you know their relationship with them? So the, the suspect is the estranged husband of one of the uh, people who were inside the house. 